the technology that you might learn tactically today, the business knowledge you learn tactically today will not be relevant, and I will say even five years. It just isn't. I want people to understand technology is not about technology. It's about other things. Other things that are even bigger and greater than technology. It is not just because technology is cool to play with. It always serves a purpose, but it's all to serve humanity. My arts and letters background, specifically for me, English, writing, telling stories, understanding, and actually using what Shakespeare wrote in his plays to understand personalities, psychology, psychiatry, is what helped inform me throughout my entire way going forward. I specifically focus on working with chief information officers and chief technology officers, helping them think through their strategic technology needs for the future. We're talking five, 10, 15 years down the road. In light of how the world is changing, in light of how their business changes, the foundations that you learn from arts and letters or the humanities will forever be current because they will help you see the world in a way that one is probably more representative of what's really happening. They'll also allow you to interrogate the world and what's happening around you in a very important way. And hopefully they will also allow you to gain the humility to change your perception where some of the others tactically may not. You're, you're entrenched in a current way of thinking. One of the enduring quotes from a professor that I have had, it's always in the back of my mind, was in the middle of a modern art and architecture class that I took as an elective. The professor drew what was the graph of a Fourier transform on the blackboard and said, there is just as much art in this Fourier transform as there is science in this Klimt painting that he had up on the screen at the time. That hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm like, oh wow. And I always kept thinking about that and ruminating about that. That's why when I'm creating presentations, I'm doing all kinds of writing. You know, How do we balance the scientific rigor of detail in it versus the artistic way to communicate the message? Writing well? does not mean you have five words on a slide or 5,000 words on a slide. It means it's balanced. The value of the liberal arts is being able to stitch the disparate decisions or disparate points together from different disciplines into a unique and cohesive whole that is relevant in my business for my clients and really for my clients, their end customers, which allows them to stay in business today.